In this video, I will talk about the origin and development of stems. There is an epicameral stem at the tip of each stem. This epicameral stem are tissue in which cells divide actively. And it is in this meristem stem that contributes to an increase in the length of stem. The epicameral stem is protected by board scales of the board in which it is located and to a certain extent by leaf primordia. The tiny embryonic leaf that will develop into mature leaf after the board scales drop off and growth begins. The epicameral stem in the embryonic stem of a seed is also dormant until the seed begins to germinate. When a bud begins to expand or a seed germinate, the cells of the epicameral stem undergo mitosis and three primary meristem develop from it. These are the protoderm, the procambium and the ground meristem. The protoderm give rise to the epidermis and the protoderm, which is a cylinder of strands, appears to the interior of the protoderm. Procambium produces water conducting primary xylem cells and primary phloem cells that have several functions including the conduction of food. And the remainder of the meristematic tissue, that which is the ground meristem, produces two tissues composed of parenchyma cells. The parenchyma tissue in the center of the stem is the pit. The pit cells tend to be very large and may break down shortly after they are formed, leaving a cylindrical hollow area. The other tissue produced by the ground meristem is the cortex. The cortex may become more extensive than the pit, but in woody plant, it too eventually will be crushed and replaced by new tissue produced from within. The parenchyma of both the pit and cortex function in storing food or sometimes if chloroplasts are present in manufacturing food. All five of this tissue produced by this epicameral stem, that is the epidermis, the primary xylem, primary phloem, pit, and cortex, arise while the stem is increasing in length and are called primary tissues. Abaceous dicot stems have discrete vascular bundle composed of patches of xylem and phloem. The vascular bundles are arranged in a cylinder that separates the cortex from the pit. Although in a few plants, the xylem and the phloem are produced as continuous rings instead of in separate bundle. The procambium produces only primary xylem and phloem, but later a vascular cambium arises between these two primary tissue and had secondary xylem and phloem to the vascular bundle. In some plants, the cambium extends between the vascular bundles, appearing as a narrow ring, producing not only the conducting tissues within the bundle but also the parenchyma cells between them. In other plants, the cambium is not in an uninterrupted cylinder but is eastern confined to the bundles, each of which has its own small band of cambium between the xylem and phloem. In woody plants, however, there is obvious differences which begins to appear as soon as the vascular cambium and the core cambium develops. The most Conspicuous differences involve the secondary xylem or wood, as it is best called. The wood of most trees, however, 
is produced seasonally. When the vascular cambium of a typical broadleaf tree first become active, it usually produces relatively large vessel element of secondary xylem. Such xylem is referred to as spring wood. The xylem that is produced after the spring wood and which has smaller or fewer vessel elements and larger numbers of tracheids is referred to as summer wood. In conifers, the wood consists mostly of tracheids with vessels and fiber being absent. The vascular cambium produces more secondary xylem than it does phloem. Xylem cells also have stronger, more rigid wall than those of phloem cell, and they are less likely to collapse under tension. Monocot stems. Most monocots, such as grasses, are herbaceous plants that do not grow tall. The cells, the same, have neither a vascular cambium nor a cord cambium and therefore produce no secondary vascular tissue or cork. In herbaceous dicots, the surfaces of the stems are covered by an epidermis, but the xylem and phloem tissues produced by the procambium appear in cross-section as discrete vascular bundle scattered throughout the stem instead of being arranged in the ring as it is in a dicot. Each bundle regardless of its specific location, is oriented so that its xylem is closer to the center of the stem and its flame is closer to the surface.